Martin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I would like to speak in support of uh, the proposed amendment from the member for Goldstein. Nature Positive represents generational reform of our environmental laws, and it's really important we get this right. And what must remain as a central purpose of these reforms is that it's about improvement, not just protection. That's what nature positive means. Words really matter. Nature positive adopts language that's globally accepted to refer to a net gain in nature. And to achieve a net, net gain, we need to include ambitious and quantifiable targets. Uh, Australia has signed up to the Global Biodiversity Framework, which includes concrete commitments to halt and reverse nature loss by 2030. And that goal has been consistently adopted around the world to guide urgent action to get nature visibly and measurably on the path to recovery. It makes complete sense that we would include this measure in the definition of nature positive in this bill. Uh, but this bill falls, falls short. There's no goal for recovery. There's no ba baseline. It, uh, the bill leaves it to the head of the Environmental Information Australia to determine that baseline for, for nature positive. So I strongly agree with this amendment that the definition of nature positive should reflect a clear goal to halt biodiversity decline by 2030, measured against a 2021 baseline. It makes sense to make the 2021 baseline consistent with the current National State of the Environment report data, so I commend this amendment.